What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I'm your hunting guide, Jeff. Today, I am at You Dig Fossils. Oh yeah, I finally made it out here and I am excited. Super nice people when you come in. Oh my gosh, they were great. They showed me a little bit of uh, how this works, uh, how the chipping works. It's a lot different than what I'm, I'm, what I'm used to. I'm used to dolomite. Dolomite limestone mixes. This is all shale. I might find a good day, four or five. Here, I'm doing all day, $90, $95, $17 tax. Uh, he said it might not be any problem for me to find 100 or more. So let's see what we can do. All day dig, I'll be here till six. Nine something in the morning right now. Mountain air is a little uh, not used to it, but uh, let's get digging. This is the area I will be digging in. I'm trying out a new idea someone told me. It's a uh, log splitter with a built-in hammer. Let me pop this up real quick, show you. Set it on the rock. Boom, cracked it open. And holy cow, look what I just found. That was my first that was my first break, guys. They gave me a little piece of paper to uh, see what those are. I will put their name under them because the little piece of paper is in my pocket. It's kind of windy and I don't want to lose it. But this is a good start. Okay, well, I'm going to get to digging. When I find cool stuff, I'll pop out the camera and I'll show you what I found. All right, you guys, I'm down here in the bottom digging. I got my hand covering the uh, microphone. It has been nothing but wind today. I'd like to get you some more footage, but uh, here's a couple little trilobites I found just a couple seconds ago. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show them to you. Couple little bitty fellers right there. There's some more in here. This place is, uh, this place is really neat. I'm not gonna lie, I've been here about uh, two hours, mining two hours. I took a break for lunch. It's like 11.30 now, uh, 12.30 St. Louis time. I'm gonna go over there next and look around over there. I had to bring out my bigger bucket. I'm no longer using the five gallon bucket because, well, I just filled it up too quick. Not much video of me digging these out, but we still got time. Hopefully there's a, hopefully the wind drops a little bit so I can really, here's the wind again. So here's a nice one right here, and here's the imprint of the shell. So you can see it's missing its ears. What that means is this trilobite, this is not the body of the trilobite. This is the shell. Trilobites molted much like spiders and all that good stuff. So when he got ready to, whenever he grew, he popped his little shell open and crawled out, and who knows where it went. I can promise you it's not alive anymore. Just pop this guy out and look at all these little buddies with him. Heck yeah. There's some there's some true fossils, some imprints of the trilobites. Awesome. Lots of area to dig. Area I haven't even been to yet. I need to do some exploring. I think I might walk over that way and check it out. So this is one of the new tools I'm using. This is a manual operated log splitter. It's essentially a hammer on a little chisel part. Here's the nice thing. I'm not using it for logs, so I'm slamming it in under the layers of the shale and I'm popping out big blocks. Now after I've popped out one of the big blocks, usually what I would do would be to take my chisel here, my hammer, or my other hammer there, but I learned a trick here from the guys that you dig fossils. This is the kind of hammer you want. You don't want the pointed type. This works great in the St. Louis area. Out here though, we want these for cracking into that shale just like that. When you crack the shale, you check it. No fossil in that piece. And you just keep going along. Make a line with it, you pop it down. That 
Looks like it might be one there. Let me keep looking. I am up a little higher than what I've been finding them at. When I pop this piece, I'm sure I'll find one. Oh, there we go. Just popped it, and there's the imprint of one. And I'm not seeing it there. Let me try again. Let me try again. one right there so I'm gonna chip that out and I'm gonna chip some more of this rock we'll see what we can find out of it okay so that piece I was chipping on there's the trilobite there's the form of it the mold I'm gonna try to take this off and I'm gonna keep this because I like to put the two together whenever I get home in a few days finish this video up and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about all right you guys the wind just got way too bad here so I got to do some voiceover uh this is my Elrothia king kingy kingy I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it I found this right at the end this is a monster trilobite this is the biggest trilobite I have ever found in my life um the column and calibres we find in the St. Louis area they don't get this big now this here is the main area of you dig fossils when you first come in. Their little welcome sign and uh, of course the where are you from areas where you can put a little stick pin in the wall. People come from all over the world but most importantly yours truly is right from there. So we come over we'll see uh, the rest of the world map. Everywhere in the world had a pin. We even had people from Russia. Uh, this is the office. This is where you'll pay. That uh, little grinder there is actually for polishing up your trilobites. And that saw there, if you don't have the tools at home, they can cut it up there. You bring it over to that polisher and they polish it up. So great place. And this is one of the things I love about you dig fossils in Utah. I just was sitting around the house Figured I should pop open some of the pieces I had, see if I had any more trilobites. And would you look at that? I've got an entire death plate of trilobites sitting right there. Here is there. Here is the top. Ooh, that. That is a rare one right there. I don't know if you can see that. That is the, um, I'll put it up on screen. Can't remember the name of it. Its body was mostly uh, like a gel. But its little arms were bone in texture. Well, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hamilton hopes you enjoyed the video. Uh, I really enjoyed you dig fossils in Utah. It's a great place to go if you want to go find some trilobites and other good stuff. I highly recommend going out there. Hamilton probably thinks you should go out too, but he thinks you should bring your puppy dog along. They are dog friendly. Just keep them on a leash. So anyhow, I hope I can get a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you the next time I'm out hunting rocks.